If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the filthy capitalist option. It already says. 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be a part of the alliance. You don't have to be a part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You hop, skip, and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times, and then get mashed down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Yes! Also, there is a band review option. <laughs> so if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com, and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon, and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously, we can't lie to you. So we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive you review. A positive review. <laughs> get what you get. It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is the community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in a Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together, and that helps determine what songs that we do. The alliances hang out on Discord. Message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. What? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash Vin and Sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and uh, it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, at $15 tier and above, when we actually debut the video, they're going to be there live with us. There you are, dear listener. Buy merch. Buy merch indeed. And a child shall lead them. A child shall lead them. So we have a DJ stream going on right now that is put together by Code Slammer who bought all the songs Shout out because to the he wanted to give Cold a Merry Slammer. Christmas to the village. Shout and out to Code Slammer. He's legendary. So that's why we're here. So the, the fourth song of our top ten, we are counting down to the, the number one requested song. Uh, the next one on our list is Rosetta Ryu Tradition. So let's, uh, let's check this out. Anytime. Oh, this is for... Prog Pro 96 is the one that requested this. He was Shout there like Prague an Pro. hour ago, so hopefully he pops uh, back in to see his song. Anytime I see Ryu, I just think about Street Fighter because that was my guy. Oh, yeah, I can see that. That was my guy. All right, guys. Prog. <laughs> I was going to say Prog Pro. Rosetta Ryu Tradition. Let's go. Oh, I like that. I like that picture. Yeah, me too.
its bill.
wow. in the silence I'll atone. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love that song, bro. I think uh, this is post metal. Is this is this name? I of think this that's genre? what I heard people say. I think black metal. I think is my favorite genre, especially like tremolo picking black metal. Like, mm-hmm. um, what's my band? Um, uh, Magua. Magua. Mm-hmm. Tremolo picking black metal is my favorite genre, but um, holy smokes, man! I love I the melodic guitars with the just the yell but the, the lyrics were so lyrics were freaking deep man hmm. holy smokes the, the lyrics were really really deep and obviously look it, <laughs> it, it it's steeped in religious imagery I know yeah I mean, yeah what, break no, it down for us Vinny nothing could be nothing could be done what do you mean break it down? I want you to go over it. I was Well, he's he's talking he's talking about atonement, right? Mm-hmm. And atonement is it, <laughs> Amy says, "There is no atonement for his singing." Stock for a law. Um Amy just likes clean vocals. I mean, she's an Evanescence fan for mm-hmm. God's sake. Yeah, that's they always it's it's always got to be clean vocals. But like Atonement is what happens when you, specifically in a religious context, where you sin against God, mm-hmm. and and it's a uh, it's basically you take the words atonement. It's at one meant mm-hmm. so that you and God can be one again, mm-hmm. right? Um, so you know that's one of the major questions of theology, almost across the spectrum. Like I was looking at some of the uh, um, back and forth between a couple of the. Uh, the comments and uh i think it's perk and vlad were talking about the aztecs and how many people they sacrificed and the, mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like and so there there was the idea that you have to appease the gods the gods yep. are angry although I, i'm not specifically specifically certain as to why the aztecs believed that um they need to they needed to sacrifice people i'm not particularly sure why the aztecs did but it's a it's a staple of of theology across the board that there's a sense that we've done something to anger god or anger the gods and what can we do to make things right Mm -hmm. with those gods? and and some of it was just being bound to nature so for example if you're an agrarian society you're so dependent on powers outside of your control like the seasons and making sure you have the rains and the harvest and all the rest of it Mm -hmm. that if you if the if the rains were delayed or whatever then it was interpreted oh we did something to anger the gods so let's do this x or y z sacrifice so that we could mm-hmm. so that we could get the rains again which obviously is a way of human beings trying to gain back control oh absolutely over elements that they don't have any control yeah. of yeah or you you know you you know so so the concept of atonement is really a, a, an interesting thing. In Christianity, it, it's there isn't really much about atonement in the sense of you know trying to get rains back or whatever. Although there there is you know for example in Deuteronomy in extreme cases of Israel's rebellion mm-hmm. rebellion where God says I'll make the you know the, the skies above you brass meaning mm-hmm. I'm not going to send the rain or whatever. Mm-hmm. But the main... Oh, I thought that that meant he wasn't going to hear them. That was... Not that he wasn't going to hear them, because he would hear them always. But... Yeah, it was a real practical ramification of, you're not going to get any rain. And if you don't get any rain or whatever. It's the same thing with Elijah's fa- But that only happened one or two times in Israel's recorded history, where, mm-hmm. you know, Elijah, you know, had the, the, the famine, there was no mm-hmm. rain or whatever. Um, which, you know. So, that really wasn't the emphasis in Israelite religion, a lot of the emphasis, particularly when you get to the Psalms, is about atonement, is about your actual relationship with the deity himself. Mm-hmm. Not that he would withhold something from you, but that he would withhold himself from you mm-hmm. was the problem. So David, for example, in Psalm 51, he basically sexually assaults this girl, kills her husband, um, and then he gets called on it, and he, and he, and he talks about... Restore to me the joy of my salvation. Mm-hmm. God shows up to Abraham and says, I'm your very great reward. So in Israelite religion, if you really truly understood it, 
God himself was the goal of the religion. Mm -hmm. It wasn't you go to God so you get rain. It wasn't right. go, you go right. to God to get this. God himself was a religion. So if you... And so much so that the the, the Israelites are, are portrayed as being married to God. Mm -hmm. So the, the point of atonement ultimately in Israelite religion, and you had, you know, there were peace offerings and free will offerings and thank offerings and drink offerings. There were all these relational markers with God because you wanted to, to have that relationship like Moses. Moses spoke to God face to face and the man speaks to his friend. Enoch walked with God and he was no more because God took him. Mm -hmm. So there are all these examples of people who are who have this face to face close friendship with God. Abraham is called a friend of God. Even the Quran actually, Abraham is called a friend of God. I think Khalil Allah hmm. is his name. So like that's what you're that's what you're gunning for. But then you do things that cause a fracture in that relationship to God. And so a lot of it is trying to get back to that to that oneness yeah. that you that you had with God. And you know that you know it's it's just like Eve is taken out of Adam's, you know, body. Mm -hmm. You know, God's people are pictured as being taken out of him, and then Adam and Eve are brought back to God. Um so it's a, it's a very, very fascinating concept, and that bleeds, obviously, into the New Testament, bleeds quite literally, wow. where you have sacrificed probably, you know, hundreds of thousands, maybe million animals in, Israelite, in the Israelite cult, and then you get to Jesus, mm -hmm. and, and it's this weird situation, because on the one hand, there are these very specific rituals as to how the sacrifices are supposed to be done mm -hmm. and then kind of halfway in israelite history you hear the sacrifices and offerings you didn't desire and then god and jeremiah is like i didn't tell you guys to do these <laughs> offerings it's like what, are, what the hell oh, wait a minute you know and mm -hmm. and in the specific one called an asham the asham is is the sacrifice of atonement and then in isaiah 53 there's this individual, and he is called an Asham. He mm -hmm. is called a sacrifice of an atonement. Yep. And it's kind of confusing because you're not you're not supposed to have blood, you know, human sacrifices in the Old Testament. You offer your kids up to the fire for Molech. You're a bad guy. So the whole point is that you know human beings cannot atone for their own sins. Is right. the idea. Right. And human beings cannot meld the fracture between them and God to, to reinstitute that oneness in the relationship. So it's just very interesting where he says, indulge, secure, indulge securely this apology, where silence is salient, where silence is still, indulge this offering, forgive my silence, embrace the atonement, mm. embrace the silence, embrace the outpour, vacate the angst, atone and sing, confess and rest your sweetly wings, Sometimes I think that these stars are calling me back, calling me home. Please accept this small offering. The dim light of God's. Come now and rest. Come rest well. Sometimes I think these stars are fireflies of home calling me. This is really interesting. Because I initially read it as uh, fireflies calling me home. But what he was saying is the fireflies were home calling him. And... Um, in the silence, Ilatone collapse, embrace. Mm. But the cool thing is, is that you, you, you know the 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 big marker, the big climax of all the atonement is that God Himself comes down, becomes one of us, lives perfectly, never fractures a relationship, and then He Himself atones for our sins. And so, we don't do the atoning. Yeah, we just sing about the fact that he's atoned for us <laughs> yep right so yep. you know job 33 tells the story of the guy who he, he's living wrong and all this but then it says if there's an angel there's a mediator one of a thousand to tell him what man what's right for him and he's merciful to him and then this angel turns to god and says you know uh wipe away all the sins i found a ransom mm -hmm. let his flesh be renewed you know and, and, and the days of his youth let, let him be born again to the days of his youth mm -hmm. and then it says about the bad guy when this mm -hmm. happens to him um he sings before men and says i've sinned and perverted what was right and it was not repaid to me you know 
So, so yeah. it, it's 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 really interesting the concept of singing and atonement, how that works together. Is yeah. that we don't do any of the atoning. Mm-hmm. We just we just sing before bed. It says, "I sin and perverted was right; mm-hmm. it was not repaid to me. He has redeemed my soul from going down into the pit, and my life shall look upon the light. Behold, God does all these things twice, three times with a man and a woman to bring him back from the pit, that he may be lighted with the light of life." Mm-hmm. So. An yep. angel has to come and says, yep. I have found a ransom. And and then it says, um it, it's 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 a it's just it's it's an unbelievable story. Because it's it's totally God doing it and, and when you're a father, all the shit makes sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like your kids are completely yeah. dependent on you. And if, right. if it's gonna work, you have to make it work as a as as a father. Your kids mm-hmm. Your, your kids are not ultimately responsible for your relationship, even if they fuck it up. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, that's that's a crazy thing to me. It's like experiencing, and it, you know, it's one of those things, man. Like, it's hard. It's hard to, um, yeah then the person prays to God and he accepts him he sees his face with a shout of joy and 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 there's like some question in the in the translation like who is seeing his face and who's shouting for joy yeah because is it the the bad guy who's now repentant and he sees God face and he shouts for joy or is it God who is celebrating and seeing the guy's face with a shout of joy and of course Jesus answers that question because he says there's more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents mm-hmm. right than a 99 persons who are righteous who don't need to repent. I also believe it's a double. Right? I think I think they're both mm-hmm. seeing each other mm-hmm. and they're both shouting for joy. God is because God loves to forgive. Mm-hmm. So God sees the guy's face and he goes, "Hey, you're home." And the guy goes, "You want me?" And God's like, "Yeah, of course I want you." <laughs> and 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 the guy's like, "Great." And God's like, "Give me a hug." And the guy's like, "No, I'm going to sing before men and tell them how horrible I was and how you forgave me." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like, so the concept of singing the atonement and all the rest of it, I just is just so unbelievable to me. Well, yeah, we were listening to that guy last night or this morning. Yeah. And he was saying how it's important not just to read the Psalms, but to sing the Psalms because it hits yeah. a different part of your yes. person. And yeah. so when he said atone and sing. Yeah. I was like, that's cool. Well, that's, the, yeah, that's, that's the thing. It's like, it's, it's, uh, you know, Islam. This song makes me want to write. Islam has outlawed music and subhanAllah. That's, that's, if that's not a clue that that's not the right religion. Uh, <laughs> I love Muhammad. But they but have good. done a lot of creative things with their voices. They have. They, uh, I love Beautiful. the Nashids, but good Lord. Um, um, so, yeah, uh, that's why I just loved. I I loved what this guy was saying. Like, embrace the atonement, embrace the silence, embrace the outpour, vacate the angst. Um, mm-hmm. Whoa, Kai! Yeah, we we might end up seeing a amorphous life. That would be legit. And then it says, "Come now and rest. Come rest well." Mm-hmm. And you know, when from mm. uh, like I say, we have a very very convenient religion because. The scripture says, by one offering, he is perfected for all time those who are being made holy. Yep. So, I'm perfect in Christ. So, th- that's one of the reasons I have no problem saying I have original sin, I've sinned, I've done this yeah. bad, I've done that's bad. I've yeah. Done, I have no, it's, it's, it's singing before men and saying, I've sinned and perverted what was right, but it was not repaid mm-hmm. to me. Because it was repaid to Christ. So... I, I, I'm completely secure at the fact that I, I know I fucked up royally and horribly and I know I'm going to fuck up royally and horribly, but I'm completely secure because God sees me as perfect through what Jesus has done. Mm-hmm. And in that, in that, you can rest. Mm-hmm. And people go, well, then if, 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 you're, if, you're, if your eternal destiny is secure, then why do good things? And Paul said, oh, that's simple. The love of Christ compels exactly. us. Exactly. We're, compelled, we're convinced that one died for all, therefore all died. Mm-hmm. So I died with Jesus. So I don't I don't live to myself because the what's running the engine is is love to Christ. So it, it's just crazy because now you can rest. You don't have to keep working your way to God. Like mm-hmm. you're good. And I, I and and when I see God, he's not gonna be angry at me. He's gonna shout and he's gonna lift up his skirts, as you said, and, and, and run to me. So 
when if you truly believe that about your if you truly believe that about your your relationship with God, it kind of frees you up to be uh yeah uh, you know what you were meant to be, mm -hmm. and so like there's no mystery. Like I know that He's accepted it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I know that He's I know that He's accepted me. And Sadie says evidently the Christian God picks and chooses uh, whose prayers He answers. Uh, well, that depends. That depends because. Um, when you're a father, there are many times your kids ask for things and you know, it's not going to be the best thing for yeah, you. Yeah. I don't think it's whose prayers. It's what prayers. Mm hmm. The, and there's a difference. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I agree. And, and if, if a lot of, a lot of things only get understood once you become a parent. Yeah, really. There's really? so many things where you become a parent and you go, oh, mm -hmm. there's a lot of like theological issues where like I'm, I'm like with the kids and I go, oh, okay, I got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> erase, that oh. one from, erase that one from the record. So that's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Erase that one from the record. I got you. Um, the Lord thy God is in your midst. Oh, yeah, this is one of my favorite ones in Zephaniah. A mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. He will exult over you with loud singing. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. so like it's, I'm just like a real, I just quoted that one in the car the other day. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. There was some horrible thing that some religious, like religion or God was doing. And I was like, well, well, your God's doing that. Ours is singing. Ours is us. singing. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. And, and, and the, the other thing is, is that if you understand atonement where Paul says, um, If God gave us Christ, who was the most valuable person to him in the universe, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Who will separate us from the love of Christ? So trouble or hardship or nakedness or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? No, in all these things, we're more than conquerors through him who loved us. So mm -hmm. if God doesn't answer my prayer, it's because answering that prayer would have been the worst thing for me to have it answered the way that I want it. And obviously, that's a painful answer. That's that's a painful answer. But as you grow in maturity, you actually end up seeing. Yep. Holy shit! If I would have got that, then this one happened, and that one happened, and this one happened. Because the fact yep. of the matter is, as a child, I don't know what's best for me. I think I know what's best for me, but I don't know what's the best for me. Yeah. Just like my kids, yep. you know, Orion thinks he knows what he should eat in the morning. Mm hmm. But he has no idea. Yeah, they have like videos of like outrageous reactions from kids and the things that they wanted. So like this kid's melting down because his mother won't let him hang out in the refrigerator. Like things that kids want to do that you're like, it's that's absolutely great. But they're a kid. And so they feel like, wow, how could you do this to me? Yeah. 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 So I, I love it. I love it. I love uh, it. So what do you give it? Uh, this song is uh, 8.9. I thoroughly <laughs> enjoyed it. I thought, well, actually, no, I'm going to give it a 9.2. I'm going to give it a 9.2. Mm -hmm. I was at a 9.1. There's Vlad. Yanking verses out of contest, the kid to turning them into daily motivations. No, no. I think uh, I think Romans chapter 8, Zephaniah, and Job 33, that, that uh, corpus of verses are all saying the same thing, and I don't think they're out of context at all. It's a, it's about God um, being willing to be emotional and show his emotions about the people that he loves and the children that he loves, Vlad. And inshallah, you experience it one day. But be as cynical as you like, my brother. It's all good. In the good. meantime. In the meantime. <laughs> in between time. Uh, so, you guys, thanks for the stream. Code Slammer, obviously, thank you to you. That <laughs> Amy Lee gave it a 3.5. <laughs> That's... That's the vengeance uh, that we were talking about at the beginning of the other. At the, right. <laughs> at right. The beginning of the other. Let train. it go, Amy. Let it go. Yeah. Uh, let it go. Yep. I didn't know you loved uh, the Beatles so much that you would let your heart fill with bitterness and vengeance and <laughs> give it this one a three point five. I feel like I feel like we're gonna hear one of those songs and be like, oh, okay, this is why these guys are so legendary. Yeah, probably. Probably. I've been curious about that ever since I was in the studio with that dude. And he was, he, he was, I mean, I felt like he went overboard. You wouldn't have rap music going for the Beatles. I was like, bruh. 
Bruh. <laughs> anyway, guys, we got six songs coming up tomorrow. Be on the lookout because the, the time is yet to be determined. The time is yet to be determined. All right. Uh, hopefully this this video doesn't get blocked. So all of you that wanted to see the Beatles and Pearl Jam, inshallah, won't get blocked. Uh, but it, but who knows? It, oh, also, check us out on Twitter and Twitch because Twitter, the videos are there. They never get. Did you restream this one? Yeah. On okay. So, JD, we did uh, the Beatles, and the Beatles are most definitely probably going to get blocked on the YouTube side. But on Twitch, if you follow us, Vin and Sorry on Twitch, all these videos are here, like, in full, like, start to finish. Well, wait a minute. You're not seeing anything from Twitch on there? Huh? I'm only seeing YouTube logos there. So, did it not? Well, is this, is this, uh, well, did you do restream on this? Did you set it up on restream? I or set up you restream, and I put the title into restream. Yeah, we're on restream. We're good. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. So that means it's on Twitter. It's on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and uh, YouTube. And Amy Lee Forever said also Facebook has full videos. Facebook also has full videos, although sometimes they do get copyrighted and blocked and taken down as well. But the copyright people will somehow miss out on, twi on twi uh, for Twitter. For now. Twitter for now. So we're small enough. We're small oh, enough Twitch on says, Twitter. Amy says Twitch has the audio muted. Yeah, we're small enough on Twitter to where, you know, we're right under the radar. So uh, check us out on Twitter and you'll see the whole uh, the whole thing there. All right, you guys. Thanks for coming out. We'll see you tomorrow. We will see you tomorrow. We have more songs. Shout out to Sadie. Shout out to Amy Lee. Shout out to JD. And shout out to the big homie. Code, Code Slammer. Slammer. Uh, a Day in the Life from the Beatles. I'm pretty certain we're going to end up doing that song as well pretty soon, inshallah. All right, guys. Much love to all of you beautiful people. We have to get out of here. Having said that, dear listener, Vin 